I was sitting here today thinking about the first scripture I ever learned. Matthew 4:19. come unto me and I'll make you fishers of men. I remember researching that scripture thinking, what is Jesus talking about? It was a privilege to be his mother. God gifted me with a very bright child. I believe he started out with Oxycontin pills. Well, the Oxycontin led to other addictions and it led to a horrible road. While there were many, many, many rehabs, I could name them all for you. Then he was hired by John Allard, who heads up the Hope Homes in Springfield, Missouri. And he hired Michael to be the head of the Hope Home for the men in Springfield, Missouri. And he excelled in his ministry there. He always did want to be a CDL truck driver. And he put himself through trucking school. Okay, if that's your dream. I hate to see you leave the ministry because I think that's your calling. I used to always tell him that. But I said, maybe you'll have a, a calling in the truck. The impact on all the lives he touched, it's overwhelming, but it just it touches and comforts my soul. Michael was born in Mercy Hospital in San Diego, California in 1981. He was taken to a Mercy Hospital in Sioux City, Iowa, <laughs> December 20th, 2017. He didn't take out another family on the road with drugs, you know. God laid him down and took him home quietly. I was able to say, let go, Michael. Let go, go home. And I'm glad I did. <laughs> and he let go. His spirit and his face was peaceful. I knew he was home with the Lord already. Little did I know that making fishers of men is going out with your bait, which is the gospel, the word of Jesus Christ, my sword, taking my sword of light and bringing it out into the darkness and cutting right through the darkness, piercing deep with that word, hooking, catching, and fishing for men trapped in the darkness. The wages of our sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life.